guys. Okay, so I'm vlogging. I'm finally out. I'm actually going to TJ Maxx to see if it's an urban legend or if it's true that they do actually have good makeup, high-end makeup, stuff you would find at Sephora and Ulta at drugstore prices. So I'm going in there to check tonight to see, and uh, I will check back with you guys and let you know the verdict. We're finally at TJ Maxx. Okay, I'm ready to do this investigation. Come with me. Found this one. This is twenty seven. Hang on. Shade and light. What is this? What is this? Foundation? No, I got foundation. Okay. Um, deep. Okay, they have Anastasia contour kits. These are the cream ones, so they're $18.99 in the cream form. Let's see, are all these creams? Oh uh, yeah, this is the cream kits. This ooh, they have a cream highlight. Cat Martin cream highlight. That's cool. And what is this? Ooh, they have bites, bite beauty lipstick. Um, ooh, they have lashes. Those are pretty. Hey guys. Okay, so we went to Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree was a success. Um, I'm redoing my beauty room. And I'm like um, organizing everything. Um, I'm actually unpacking all my makeup. Just because, because I'm doing a lot of makeup videos now. As far as like Project Pan. And uh, Shop My Stash and stuff like that. And then somebody requested. A couple of people requested me to do a makeup collection video so i want to be organized and i want to show you all my goodies and stuff that i have so i went to dollar dollar tree because you can get the best like bang for your buck with like organization stuff and it was actually a success so when i get home and we get in better lighting i will show you guys some of the stuff i got from dollar tree and then i wanted to go to marshall's we don't have a marshall's our nearest Marshalls is 45 minutes away, so I didn't get to go tonight, but I do plan on going um, 
sometime maybe next week and oh sorry and maybe i'll film that little excursion for you guys but i did go to tj maxx and yes they do have cav on d stuff half off stila um probably more than half off like 60 percent off like the stila prices were insane um there was uh, a couple of um um there was a highlighting palette and a contour palette by Anastasia, which I didn't get those. Um, I found a really beautiful highlight palette for $3.99, I think. It, I think it's generic, but that it was a really buttery, creamy highlight. So I'm excited to play with that. Um, I don't know, I'll show, every, I'll show you the stuff I picked up at TJ Maxx. Um, if you have a TJ Maxx near you, definitely check out TJ Maxx. If you have Marshalls, check out your Marshalls. Um, like I said, I keep saying all over YouTube that um, those two stores are having like really good deals as far as makeup and stuff. So definitely check yours out. I think they restock maybe weekly or I don't know. I don't really know what the deal is. But we just went and got Taco Casa. Love me some sweet tea from Taco Casa. Um, I don't know. I'm sure, like, you guys don't know what Taco Casa is if you, if you don't live here in T-Town because it is just a local um, taco place. But it is really good. It's our favorite as far as fast food. And, yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll do, like, a mini haul or something when I get home. It's very cold tonight. And if you guys like my makeup... I'm actually doing this look. Um, I'm doing this look this week, so stay tuned for that. So I will chat, um, check, check, not chat. I, well, both. I will chat and check in in a little bit. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So this is towards the end of my vlog. Um, hair on me if you hear background this is not like a fancy video where it's supposed to be quiet this is actually a vlog so my husband's in the next room watching an action movie so it's super loud so sorry it's a vlog so basically I just wanted to kind of do like a show you guys what I got at the Stores. I told you guys I went to Dollar Tree, got some organization. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna, I might even um, do a video organizing my beauty room. If you guys want to see that, let me know because um, now, that I'm, now that I'm doing the Shop My Stash series, so pretty much every week you guys are going to look into my goodies. Um, I wanted it to look pretty for you guys. And I did unpack all my makeup. Hopefully we won't be moving anytime soon. But I did unpack everything. So let me show you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree first. Again, this is not a fancy video. This is just vlog style. So this is casual. I'm actually sitting on my knees. Um, there's background noise, there's dogs around here, there's kids around here. Okay. Dollar Tree bag. I'll show you what I picked up. So I got these for a dollar, obviously. I'm going to put my palettes in here. So I could probably fit, I don't know, maybe two palettes, two or three. Depends on how thick they are. Probably two palettes, honestly. That's the width. I picked up two of these. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. But like I said, I'm going to kind of redo my beauty room and make it a little bit more functional. That's a good word. Functional. So I picked up two of those. I don't know where the other one is at the moment, but I'll show you in a minute. I'm really excited about these bad boys. So let me show you these. So, these have um, rubberized, these are from the Dollar Tree. They have rubberized stoppers on the bottom, which is awesome. I bought four of these. Um, you can see there's one. They're stuck in that two. 
I'm out. Three, four. So, four of these, and let me just kind of show you, hopefully, what is going to go down. This is my, like, brainstorm for these. Um, hopefully, they're going to fit in one of my, have different, three different drawer styles. So, I'll have to see which one fits better in which drawer. But, for instance, I was thinking of, um, maybe blushes in one, maybe bronzers in one, um, a powder or something like that. But, let me just kind of show you what I'm kind of talking about. So, for instance, that is a butter bronzer and it fits right. I want them to kind of stack up, if you know what I'm trying to say. So, I'm just going to put a couple, yeah, I have a couple of butter bronzers. So, if I get, like, all my blushes and put them in like this, then I'll be able to see them better. And I thought that was a cute idea. And these are only a dollar. Like I said, the inside is rubberized as well. You can see that. The rubberized. And then, like I said, the feet or is rubberized. So, it's not going to be sliding around in your drawer. I just got to figure out <clears throat> a drawer space that's going to fit this. And then, I'll reorganize. But, I'm thinking about vlog not vlogging it. I have vlogging on the brain. I'm thinking about making a YouTube video on um, my little organization beauty room quest. If you guys want to see that, please like this video and also comment below that you want to see that so uh, here's a better view look that's a good view so got four of these like i said i do have a lot of blushes a lot of bronzers um i'm trying to think of and powders i'm trying to think of round things that would fit in here like um yeah because highlights aren't really like that but like bronzers for sure blushes for sure um, or you can even do like, um, you can even like lay brushes down here. You could lay, um, lipsticks. That would be good. Like liquid lipsticks, tray or liners or just whatever you want to lay in here. But anyway, I'm, I'm most excited about these. These look like they, I don't know, they look really expensive to me. Do they look expensive to you? They're only a dollar, so excited about that. Again, I did pick up two of these. Let me find the other one. Here's the other one. Okay, so two of these. These things just peel off easily, hopefully. Um, and I'm going to put, I don't know, if I'm going to, I'll probably do them like this, actually. And I could probably put four palettes doing it like this, so two and two. Um, depending on how skinny the palettes are, but that is that. And then I picked up these from the Dollar Tree. These came in two. So, these are for a little bit, let me see if I can take this off. These are for a little bit more chunkier um, things. Maybe like base powders or maybe highlighters, but I'm thinking base powders maybe. Let me see if I can. Hopefully that noise is not bothering you guys. I'm sorry if it is, but what are you going to do? When you have loud boys in your house. Okay. I definitely am going to have to figure out how to take. Yeah. It's sticking to the plastic. So if you guys know a trick to getting like really sticky. um, Sticky stuff like this off plastic. Please let me know. I might have to look it up. But. I know there's something that you can get off Amazon that planners use to remove stickers so but I'm thinking of something more quick or something I don't know, maybe would nail polish remove it I don't know probably not but you see how how larger this is compared to the other ones um so I bought they came in twos like I said so two and two so that's four of four of those and so, with these, my kind of idea was, like I said, powders, because, you know, they're, they're bigger. So, I thought maybe, you know, line powders up like this, um, or just whatever. Just line up powders, put them where I could get to them better, and I can kind of see them better. That is one idea. Also, I could put all my beauty blenders in this. I don't know. There's a lot of different things that I can figure out 
Okay, I have a couple more little things. Okay, these came in um, threes. It says three right there, obviously. It comes in threes. So these are smaller, and I figured these would be great for um, eyeliner so they don't get lost. Lip liner so don't, they don't get lost. Um, again, liquid lipsticks. Um, what am I forgetting? Any kind of pencils, basically. A um, couple more things. Okay, these came in three as well, and I could put, what can I put in this? Because this is more flat. Um, I would say, like, single eyeshadows would be good in here. Um, what else? Single eyeshadows. Um, I don't know, I'll think of some stuff. But lipsticks, again, lipsticks. Single eyeshadows. Uh, primers, I don't know. Again, beauty blenders, maybe. I'm just coming out with ideas here. Um, and then I, I got the larger ones, which just came in twos. Again, these, um, probably my highlighters, because I have a lot of highlighters that I would like to kind of section off or whatever. So, yeah, those are my little, uh, my little ideas from, uh, the Dollar Tree. So, just thought I would do like a mini haul for you guys and show you. I'm excited to, I did go to TJ Maxx. So, we got us a little TJ Maxx haul here, and I'll show you some of the goodies that I picked up and the prices and stuff. So, this one is, I've been wanting one of these types of brushes forever, the fan brushes, but the ones that you can really, like, either contour or do a lot of bronzing and stuff. Um, and this was only $4.99. Um... I got one that's kind of been up, but this was $3.99, and it's by Revlon, and if you can see that. Um, and this one says a contour brush, which I've really been looking for a really good fluffy contour brush. Um, so I'm excited to try this. And this one, ha uh, it's just really cool looking, so it's by Revlon. I'm excited. $3.99, like I said. This was a very cool little find. This was only $3.99. Um, it's a highlighting palette. And it's by BH Beauty. What does that say? I don't have my glasses on. BH Beauty Con Concepts? Yeah, Concepts. And it's called a Unicorn Highlighting Palette. It's got a mirror. And it's got these beautiful, like a unicorny unicorny that's not a word beautiful colors um yeah so if you want me to do like a swatch or something with these let me know i love there's like unicorns on the sides of the mirror so pretty i did swatch one of these in store and it was very very pigmented and i love the packaging and again tj maxx right now three dollars and 99 cents can't beat that can't beat that um you guys know how to pick up a Kat Von D palette. Right now, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Stila, and the Kat Von D is their main, um, like, name brand stuff that I saw. A few Too Faced products. But, I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, um, which I've never owned this. This is pretty, like, a pretty older palette that she has. Um, it retails for... This is $35, but I paid $27.99. Um, I was going to get the cream one, the cream contour palette by Kat Von D. I do have the original contour palette by Kat Palette. But I definitely want to go to Marshall's because I heard that Marshall's is carrying the um, glitter version. It's the Shade and Light Glitter Eye Palette, and I really want to get my hands on that. So, I am definitely going to go go check Marshall's um, the next time I go shopping and see if I can find the glitter one. Um, so, yeah. You know, they have skincare and it's cheap compared to, you know, Ulta and Sephora skincare. So, this is um, all Henderson uh, skincare set. Obviously, this was at Christmas time because... It has, like, the Christmas reindeer packaging and Christmas trees and stuff. Um, and this is called the Dashing Through the Glow 
skincare set. So basically you get a foaming cleanser and you get a perfecting moisturizer and these are smaller bottles but I thought it was cool because it is a very expensive uh, name brand skincare and I really want to give it a try and it was only five dollars. So this is the uh, this is the face wash and this is the, the moisturizer. So again, there's the brand. Very well known brand, only $5. So you get a um, facial cleanser and a facial moisturizer. So I'm excited to try these. I'll let you guys know what I think about them or something like that. Um, then to go with that, I picked these sponges up. So these are clarifying bamboo charcoal sponges. Facial cleansing sponges for $3.99 and it's by Precision Beauty. So I thought with that foaming cleanser I could use these just for, you know, extra cleansing. Um, I'm excited to try that. Okay, I'm, I was um, running a little, well not running low on lashes, but I wanted some new lashes. Let's just be real. So I picked up two packs. Okay, so these I just thought was... The packaging was really pretty um and you do get you get one two three four five yeah five different sets they're all different and this is live love and sparkle i'm pretty sure this is a holiday collection as well um and these were only four dollars and 99 cents so i figured i could do some looks with this on my channel so i'm excited to play with that um, these were $4 lashes, and you get one, two, three, four, five lashes, and they're called High Drama. Um, they remind me, if you guys know, way back when I started my channel, I was totally obsessed with the Urban Decay Trap. It looks just like the Urban Decay Trap lashes. Um, so, I'm excited. I'll show you, I'll pull them out and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, somebody stole a lash. There's one lash missing out of my back. Oh, it fell. Okay, I was fixing to be like, why do I have one lobby deal? Anyway, they look like this. They remind me of the trap lashes. Comment down below if you remember me wearing the trap lashes all the time. They were just like really like like that. I don't know if you remember what I'm trying to say, but they remind me of that. Excited to play with these. These were four dollars at TJ Maxx. Um. So, got those lashes. A few more goodies. I got a Too Faced Melted Latex Lipstick, which I've never heard of these. Um, liquid High Shine Lipsticks. Um, and these were $5.99. Looks like that. They had a few colors, but I just wanted a very, like, nude for like, I, didn't, I don't really have a lot of nude lipsticks, so I just wanted a nude lipstick for when I do like, use my palettes for like a really dramatic, crazy, pink, funky looking eye, and I want like a nude lip or something. So I saw this one, this one's called, the color is called Hopeless Romantic, and this is what the packaging looks like, sorry it's backwards, Melted Latex, and smells really good and it's just a just a nude with a little bit of shine to it. A few more products. Okay I have another um what am I trying to say? Kat Von D little single eyeshadow palette not palette single eyeshadow. These were only four dollars and ninety nine cents. These are bold pigment metallic finish. To me, it says eyeshadow, but I'm wondering if you could use this as a highlighter or you could use it to put over a shadow to make it more shimmery. But um, when I swatched it, I mean, I was just thinking about how beautiful this would look with a wet like brush. I bet, it, I bet it would be so intense. That's what it looks like. Let's swatch it. Can you see it now? I think you can. Anyway, I feel like this this could be a great highlighter as well as something to put on your lid for, or the inner corner. Ooh, that'd be really pretty for an inner corner. 
it's just the perfect shimmer. I kind of wish I would have got more of these because they were only $4.99. They had a bunch, so I can go back and get another one. I would say if you want one, definitely go check out your TJ Maxx or your Marshalls. Ah, I just got this peach sticky crap in my clean washed hair. Okay. I have two more prop makeup products from TJ Maxx. And that's all I wanted to show you guys. So let's, let me show you real quick. Okay, so I got some Stila products. You can't beat um, picking up some Stila stuff because they're really expensive. And I got them on sale. Okay, so this is a Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter. I was very confused about what the hell this was. Um, first I thought it was like, because the packaging looks just like the shadows. But I don't think they're shadows. I think you can do anything. I think you can put these over lipsticks. I think you can put these over... I can't get it out. Hold on. Hold the phone. Can I get this out? Okay. So it looks like this. This is the only color that I had. It's like a mermaid-y color. Um, what does it say? Admiral? Admiral? Is that a word? I don't know. That's what it says. And then Stila looks like a mermaidy color. Um, that's what color it looks like. Ah! Look. It's like a mermaidy color. But I'm thinking like you could put, probably put it over a lip. You could put it over a highlight. Maybe even a shadow. I don't really know what these are for. They're very creamy. They're, I'm going to have to like look up and see how this, you're supposed to use this. Because I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about these, but it was Stila, it was cheap, I picked it up. Okay, the last thing I picked up I'm really, really excited about, I've never tried this. This is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation for $3.50. Can I get a, can I get a, hell yeah, can I get a high five? Okay guys, these like retail for like, I don't even know how much they retail. I, there, there's no retail thing on here. Let me see if I can find the retail. Where is the retail price? <laughs> I think they're at least $40 for these things. I don't even know if they still make them. Okay, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking the nail. Crap. Okay, I just broke my nail. Anyways, I don't even know if they still make this foundation, but I've always wanted to try it. I've never tried it. Um, it is a little dark. It's called tan. They had a few colors, but they were all dark colors. So, what I'm going to do is mix it with a very light liquid foundation that I already have. That's a, like a serum, um, and that's how I'm going to do it. But it looks like this. Very beautiful packaging. Um, but I'm excited because a foundation, a Stila foundation for $3.50, um, it's like one of those dropper ones, kind of like the Tarte, I do on the Tarte one, so, I mean, it's not, it's honestly not that dark, and when I add a light foundation, I think it'll be fine, um, looks like it's right there, so, can you see that? Yeah. So, anyway, I'm a mess, I need to go clean my hands. And, um, that's it. That's my, like, haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me. And I hope you guys like this haul. If you want to go shopping with me to Marshalls, um, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to be subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you get future videos from me. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know you like these videos. And comment down below and let me know. Have you been to TJ Maxx and Marshalls? Did you find some good things? Um, and if you would like to follow me around Marshalls, that's my next place I want to go shopping is Marshalls. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond because I heard they do have some good makeup and stuff there as well. We'll see, but definitely Marshalls. If you have any other ideas for videos, please leave them in the comments down below. I just want to say I love you to pieces. Oh, and if you want to see that... Um, organizational beauty video like helping me organize my room 
comment that down below as well if you want to see those videos. And I'll, t I'll talk to you guys later.